He is Risen by Louisa Parsons Stone Hopkins. Read for LibriVox.org by Michelle Grebe from Quebec, Canada. He is risen, he is not here. Come the dark grave anear and see the angel of light in his robe of dazzling white to your longing eyes appear. Listen, be of good cheer. Love shall dispel all fear. Fled is the sad, lone night. He is risen. O Lord and Saviour dear, make the truth shine so clear unto our grief-dimmed sight. Make the glad word so bright as to dry every tear. He is risen. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Easter Song by Louisa Parsons Stone Hopkins Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk The song of the sap from its mother's lap Springing to welcome the Easter day The song of the wood that groweth good With the sap that riseth and will not stay Clear harmonies of the fluted trees The organ pipes of the bird and bee the voice that wells from the leaflet cells a hidden murmur of melody the opening sheath of the willow's wreath chorus of birds high caroling the cymbaled psalm of the air's soft palm closing after the cleaving wing the patter of showers the waving flowers the symphony of the south wind free the vibrant harp of the ice-clad scarp struck to the chord of the sounding sea the whir of wings the bubbling springs the bursting ice and the melting snow the rapids roar and the rippling shore the unchained brooks and the rivers flow the nestling broods the interludes of chirp and trill of coo and call the loosening hold of the leaf buds fold and the resurrection of each and all let the paean rise in the eastern skies while planets sing on their mystic ways with heart and voice earth and heaven rejoice and the song of life be a song of praise. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Blithe Young Spring by Louisa Parsons Stone Hopkins. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. She is dancing along tiptoe the blithe young spring she is near she calleth the winds to blow to blow and the ice and snow vanish from field and mere she is dancing along tiptoe to the song of the vireo and the rivulets tremble and hear she calleth the winds to blow and the ferns and the grasses low and the daffodils appear she is dancing along tiptoe and the clods and the rootlets know tis the springtide of the year she calleth the winds to blow and the streams and the fountains flow with a melody fresh and clear she calleth the winds to blow. She is dancing along, tiptoe. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Prithee Haste by Louisa Parsons Stone Hopkins. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Snowdrop, crocus, prithee haste, call the heedless spring. 
over winter's snowy waste woo her gently and thou mayst sweetly dallying snowdrop crocus frithee haste birds that erst her coming graced bluebird robin sing over winter's snowy waste where the frost its flowerets traced sound her welcoming snowdrop crocus prithee haste down the woodpath where she paced flits the thrush's wing over winter's snowy waste willow buds but half unlaced slip your dainty string over winter's snowy waste snowdrop crocus prithee haste end of poem this recording is in the public domain the epigea by louise parsons stone hopkins read for LibriVox.org by michelle greeby out of the wood's dim sepulchre fresh from the shrouding leaves bloom the flowers for easter morning and my heart their pledge receives of the lord of the resurrection who death and loss retrieves sweet to my sense their presence lovely their soft pink flush as the dayspring lights the heavens in the easter morning's hush so the message of life perfumes them and kindles their tender blush see life from death awaketh the mold sprung blossoms say angels from sealed sepulchre have rolled the stone away christ is risen and through the shadow streams the eternal day end of poem this recording is in the public domain resurrection by Louisa Parsons Stone Hopkins, read for LibriVox.org by Diane Alaylima. Resurrection. Rejoice! The veil is rent. The earth awakes, and nature's long sad Lent spring's beauty breaks. Behold! Now opened wide the radiant room, while angels sit beside the unsealed tomb, and risen waiting near the saviour stands with gaze serene and dear and outstretched hands rabboni mary stay twas he replied tis resurrection day and death hath died end of poem this recording is in the public domain easter day by Louisa Parsons Stone Hopkins, read for LibriVox.org, by Michelle Greeby. On Easter Day the risen Lord walks through earth's garden fair and broad, and calls to every leaf and flower in tone of sweet commanding power. Nature obeys the gracious word and springs to life with glad accord of bloom and song the skies toward in full and fresh creative dower on easter day so hears the soul the voice of god and takes the spirit's shining sword to pierce the shades of death that lower reveal the resurrection hour that shall immortal life afford on easter day end of poem this recording is in the public domain. The Snowdrop Comes by Louisa Parsons Stone Hopkins Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk The snowdrop comes on Easter Day, Nor long the crocus shall delay, And soon, ah, soon the daisies bloom the mayflower finds its own sweet room and flaunts the dandelion gay life with its glad exultant sway earth sky 
in bridal fresh array while usher of the bride and groom the snowdrop comes hear what the pure shy blossoms say though the fields are bare and skies are gray and life seems shrouded o'er with gloom an angel sits within the tomb in robes of white to praise and pray the snowdrop comes end of poem this recording is in the public domain An Easter Angel by Louisa Parsons Stone Hopkins Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk An Easter Angel, pure and white, Shone forth to my astonished sight. Whence art thou? Lo, I said, To meet me where I sought the dead with all the radiance of thy dazzling light o oh, easter angel god called me from the gloom of death and night that shrouds the patient earth o'er her to shed glory instead an easter angel i am the snowdrop by life's silent might risen from wintry frosts to beauty bright by spring's glad fountains fed all resurrection in my coming pledged token that death and darkness take their flight an easter angel end of poem this recording is in the public domain o lighted tomb by Louisa Parsons Stone Hopkins, read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. Lighted tomb, where is thy boasted dead? Folded the napkin wrapped about his head. Empty the radiant room where angels through the gloom their dazzling light have shed. Where have you laid him? Mary said. Then to the master sped who vanquished death's dark doom o oh, lighted tomb so wakes the earth by easter beams o'erspread to resurrection led each barren clod shall bloom death's empty house be filled with life's perfume earth's lighted tomb end of poem this recording is in the public domain the bluebird by Louisa Parsons Stone Hopkins. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. As high in air the bluebird flies and cheerily sings, though dark the cloud and chill the skies, with steady aim her way she plies on tireless wings. As high in air the bluebird flies her carols sweet the heart surprise and courage springs though dark the cloud and chill the skies tis light and joy to waiting eyes and promise brings as high in air the bluebird flies my soul puts on her braver guise her carol rings though dark the cloud and chill the skies above them all to god she hies with heavenly things as high in air the bluebird flies so shall my soul exultant rise while far she flings all earth-born doubt and care that dies as high in air she soars and flies though dark the cloud and chill the skies end of poem this recording is in the public domain sweet sibyl spring 
by Louisa Parsons Stone Hopkins. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Sweet Sibyl Spring, thy verdant scroll, still let the warm south winds unroll till every syllable is seen adown its pages soft and green wherein may read the trusting soul how all things rest in his control who fills with joy life's golden bowl and writes his love in fairest sheen sweet sibyl spring around thy borders as we stroll we learn the pure the perfect whole so full of promise is thy mien of all the year the prophet queen bright type of birth and pledge of goal sweet sibyl spring end of poem this recording is in the public domain ring easter carols by louisa parsons stone hopkins read for librivox dot org by bruce kachuk ring easter carols ring bluebird and robin sing thrilling the air springtide declare waft on your joyous wing glints of bright blossoming let your glad voices bring hopes sweet and rare ring easter carols now to god's love we cling trustful and worshiping soaring in prayer heaven is so fair christ is our offering ring easter carols End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Bridal Festival by Louisa Parsons Stone Hopkins. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Nature, in sweet bewilderment, from out her snowy vesture creeps. The gentle spring, forgetful, sleeps lulled in her dream of deep content dream that in rosy hopes will break when dancing o'er the daisied lea shall step the bride persephone and all the earth to life awake shy nature kneels in trembling guise her pure brow white as driven snow her fleecy robes the south winds blow love's mystery lights her dewy eyes she hears the ripple on the shore the tuneful bluebird cleave the skies her heart leaps up in glad surprise to know her hour has come once more swift-footed bride persephone how blush the meadows at thy tread the oak unfurls his banners red and swallows come across the sea the downy willow from her shroud hangs out her tassel's yellow bloom the nestling fern unrolls its plume the modest woods are veiled in cloud how gleams the golden oriole out glancing from her swinging nest her chirping brood beneath her breast while songs of joy to nature roll ring every golden buttercup a bell of bridal festival weave white the daisy coronal and gather all the sweetness up the chrysalid with rapture stirs the water beetle feels more nigh his glory of the dragonfly and nectar fills the flower spurs down in the confidential green of clover fields the insects hum while myriad creatures pipe and drum and live their busy life unseen 
the flowers of the indian corn droop their fair feathers o'er the sheath and all their pollen grains bequeath that golden harvests may be born end of poem this recording is in the public domain miracle of life by louisa parsons stone hopkins read for LibriVox.org by michelle greeby bewildering miracle of life the brooding nest the swelling bud the rushing river at its flood and spring with all its promise rife now nature calls from star to clod all things to fruitful blossoming the resurrection soul of spring speaks out the vernal thought of god for birth is holy as a shrine and sacred is the hidden germ the seed is sown when faith is firm and nature's vestal hour divine from birth to death from death to birth so sing the swift recurring years the chant rolls on in other spheres Behold, I make new heavens and earth. New senses, new rewards of sense, The spectrum filled, all dark lines bright, Released from this close-fettered sight, We see life's fuller evidence. And music unimagined here Shall break in wave on wave of sound, no grand chord silent and no bound to limit the enfranchised ear fresh miracle and fresh desire and nature's still enlarging scope a deeper faith a broader hope a steadier purpose to aspire new inspiration rounding life and speeding it upon its way to those great cycles where the day is without shadow, without strife. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Easter Lilies by Louisa Parsons Stone Hopkins Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson The pure and holy lilies attend their Lord alway. The Easter lilies praise him, they of the valley pray. Red lilies speak his passion, filled lilies breathe his love, and water lilies image his peace in heaven above. Weave in the glorious blossoms to deck the Easter tide, an offering fit and spotless by Jesus sanctified. And when in bliss we see him, the gates of life thrown wide, the angel of the lily shall lead us to his side. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.